I am the screeching cry expanding from the bottom of the Black Canyon. I am the ether. Seeping between the societal chasms that the white imagination cannot fathom, I am the phantom, the fantastical phenomenon. I am the palm applied to your face. I am your wake-up call. I am the light shining inside the lantern that you failed to ponder on. My heartbeat is an anthem, so if I don't skip to my own beat, then I'm deceased. See, this life that I keep won't let me dance in a trance. Yet still my current circumstance, the uphill battle, facing a rivaling avalanche filled with cold-blooded whiteness, that suppose those are my likeness, and when I say whiteness, I don't just mean the people, I mean the mindset. <laughs> Generations die with each person, but certain lines of thinking remain timeless. My life is a study in blackness, an alternative reenactment of back to the future. And when I got back, Doc Brown was like, nah, nigga, your status is black to the future. We <laughs> <laughs> ain't really got to rewind the time back to abuse you, so if today is yesterday and the future is the beginning, then the likes of Mike Brown being shot down is a modern day lynching. Black bodies swinging, tree branches clenching. They say if you take a close listen and lean, you can hear the bottom of the root scream. They want us to believe that our blood on the leaves is the same disease that brought down Adam and Eve. However, if you ask me, I would say murdering an unarmed black teen is serpentine. That is, if your intentions is to speak in religious superstitions. Y'all know the tradition, the scenario, where the death of black life becomes a burial for an American sacrifice, and all excess pass into a post-racial afterlife, where the entire occurrence of my history never existed, creating a not so ironic irony that those who mainly benefited from it get offended simply by it being mentioned. Uh, there, there you go again, playing the victim, blaming the system, but, but, but I'm gonna tell you who the real racists are, the, the, the real racists so the people who keep talking about race, <laughs> if they just stop talking about it, it'll go away. Ain't that right, Vicky? Well, well, I don't really see color. Um, to me, to me, we're all sisters and brothers, and slavery happened like forever ago. So I don't know. Can we just get over it? Nah. the deodorant, but when it comes to racism at this place, America's armpits reek of a thick, unbearable stitch of bullshit. <laughs> you know it's bad when it's internationally known as your shit stinks, yet instead of having them gutted, these words become counterpunches for the dominant public, who sadly has the audacity to inaccurately think that they can somehow hold my black ass in judgment. Understand the very essence of my presence is fuck it. Your acceptance is not something I covet. I stand here tall or bubble with no disguise. No bowed head or lowered eyes. With the heart to harness the soul of my Angelo. So regardless of any carnage or darkness, still I rise. <laughs>